Hey friends. So let me first start by saying, forgive me. Um, it seems like, and I don't know if you notice, but it seems like every summer these videos are just happening later and later in the summer. But you know what? Um, we're here. So <laughs> today we're going to be going over some of my new favorite products, some old, some new. Um, and also talking about my disc experience. I finally got around to trying out the disc. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We will start with um, some new products that I've added since I last created the video. So first things first is Rayel, and I really hope that it's pronounced that way because I've never actually heard anyone say it I was just like oh cool what's what's Rael so I really and truly hope I'm pronouncing it the right way because it could also be like Rael instead of Rael you know what for the purposes of this video um, I'm gonna respectfully say Rael so I discovered Rael because if you watched last year's video, you know that L had become like my new favorite pad to use, disposable pad to use. I was like, I can't remember, I can't even remember exactly how it happened, but, um, oh, it was the pandemic. <laughs> the pandemic happened and I have only ever seen um, L at Target, um, Sometimes like Walgreens, CVS, those types of stores, maybe Kroger. But um, for the most part, I know if I walk into Target, they're going to have what I need. Uh, there was there was a brief moment where, you know, we were limiting leaving the store. So we were trying to get as many things as we could delivered. And I couldn't really figure out, um, a, I don't remember if it was that they were out of stock temporarily or I couldn't find it at first or... Anyway, I was led to Rayel, and Rayel is my new favorite. Now, I still like L. I still recommend it. I haven't completely like rid myself of L. I actually still have some L pads left over, but Rayel is my new best friend. And let me tell y'all, this is not a skincare uh, vlog, but I tried their oil to foam daily detoxifying cleanser, and I probably just butchered the order of those words, but those words are all in there somewhere and I love it. So I'm going back for more. Anyway, Rayel is becoming one of my new favorite companies and another period product that I haven't tried is period panties. And I, I've been kind of put off by them, not because I don't think they'll be effective, but just because I haven't heard great things about what they're putting in them. But I read up on Rayel's version of them and I was like, okay, I'm down to try it. And then guess what? They were sold out and you know what that means you know what that means when they're out of stock because they, they, they're in stock on literally all their other products skincare period products all that out of stock on the period panties so now i just want to try them even more um but anyway let me tell you why i like rayel so i like rayel because i feel like i'm not going to say they're leak proof because i don't want to like falsely advertise they haven't even said that their pads are leak proof but I feel like I can sleep comfortably without worrying about leakage, which is hard to come by, especially with a pad and depending on how heavy your flow is. And you know how sometimes you can be sitting like I am now and it's like, you know, the blood just completely misses the pad. It just, it just misses it and it just like trickles its way up or, or, or towards the back. And it's just like how over the side, like, so you had all this space and opportunity, you know what I mean? And you chose to make yourself comfortable over here, right? So sometimes, you know, she's not always on our side and that's okay. Um, but I haven't really had that experience with, um, with Rayel. You know, I really um, feel like I can sleep peacefully without that, <gasps> let me check my sheets, you know, type of feeling. And also just if, if you're watching, there was a time when I used to think that I would outgrow this whole like possibility of leakage thing, you don't, you don't outgrow it. I'm telling you right now because your cycle changes throughout your life and 
it's going to surprise you one day. And you're going to be like, what? Normally on day two, blah, 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 blah. Your old day two is not your new day two. So just drop all those expectations. You think you have it figured out and then it's going to switch up on you. At least that's been my experience. And I know I'm not the only one. But back to Rayo. So um, really comfortable. They stay dry. I don't feel like... Um, you know, like I, it's soggy, it's not very thick, it's pretty thin. And um, I can wear the regular size, which I'll go over the sizes in just a moment, which is not normal for me. So I would normally have to get the long, um, like back when I was wearing Always and stuff like that, I can never wear those little itty bitty short ones because my, my, my menses doesn't cooperate like that, you know? It, it, and if this is your first time watching this video, um, menses refers to the part of your cycle um, in which you are actually shedding your uterine lining. There is blood involved. Um, the cycle, which is often referred to um, when talking about the menses, is actually the entire cycle from menses through ovulation, through the follicular and luteal phases and all that kind of stuff. But long story short, I can wear the regular size. Like I don't have to get the long ones. Like they... It's, the regular is like made for me and that makes me feel special. So I love that. Um, the other reason I really love Rayelle is because they have a super awesome overnight pad. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, overnight pad. Ugh, yuck. I get it because every single time I've bought an overnight pad or a super or whatever, it's been super thick. It's been like very bulky and it feels like I am riding a horse. Right? It's just like I'm carrying the horse around with me between my legs. That's not cool. Look how thin this overnight pad is. Like, I, and I don't, you know, all of this is just extra fabric. It's, it's, it's fabric. This is two fingers of fabric here, okay? Now, I am going to tell you, and I'm going to open this up for you because I love you guys, and I am going to show you exactly what this looks like. I was overwhelmed at first <laughs> because in instead of them going oh overnight really thick piece of cotton right there in the middle they thought hmm overnight let me expand right so the first time i opened this i was kind of freaking out because i was like ah uh, i don't why is it why is there so much like it falls over more than just those two times that like a, a pad and then once you open it there are other flaps that come out from there so let me just let me just show you what i mean so once you open it right everything everything looks normal at this at this stage um then you you open this flap and you're like wait a minute why <laughs> what's this down here <laughs> what is that um so that is um a little bit of like a fan that goes uh over your bottom um and this is nice and long not so long that it feels like it's tickling your belly button but long enough to where you know it comes up in the front and it goes up in the back and again just look how thin it is they love me they had me in mind when they were creating this they were like we need overnight pads for people who don't want to carry horses between their legs right so um talk about going to sleep and feeling like i can like sleep in any position i can sleep on my back y'all on my back on my heavy day and wake up in the morning and find that what? My menses, my blood, hasn't even made its way all the way to the back of the fan. And it's just, I get emotional because why haven't, like, like when they were thinking about, you know, products for women who are menstruating, right? Why did it take us so long to get to, to get to this? This is what I needed when I was 10, 9, 11, 12, 14, all of those different ages where I had to sleep on one side and then quickly roll to the other side because I was too scared to sleep on my back or my stomach. The, where were, let it go, Sierra, let it go. It, it's gone, it's gone. We're over it. We're grateful for what we have right now. So um, their website is www.getrael.com and it says nature meets nurture and I do feel nurtured. I feel so nurtured. So um, this is actually just one of their, they have two versions of the, the overnight. They have an XL. So if you were like, that little thing ain't gonna do nothing for me, 
they got something for you too, sis. Um, as you can see, it's got all five of the uh, droplets covered in. So it is, you know, for maximum protection. On the back of the box, it says here that it's 100% organic cotton on the top sheet. Um, it's responsibly sourced in Texas. You know, everything's bigger and better in Texas, or at least that's what I've heard. Um, it has super, it has a super absorbent core and I want to just get you guys to look at that picture of the pad and just look, look at the core, look at the middle there, super absorbent, but not thick. Maximum airflow. Remember how I said that it doesn't feel like it's wet. Like I don't feel like there's, you know, it just, I can forget it's there. And leak locker technology. That is a tongue twister there. But yeah, so unique channel designs to trap fluids, side panels for added security. So the reason why it never ends up all the way in the back when I sleep on my back on my heavy night is because the core is doing the work, you know, much like our bodies. The core is doing the work. The side panels are just there for decoration if we need them. But I don't be needing them. So needless to say, I really love Ray. I also love their colors and their branding. Like they have this sort of um, like mint green and a nice like coral for their for their uh, their their brand colors. And it's just it's very calming and appealing for me. And I am going to show you this. I'm not going to read everything, but I am going to show you this because I think it's so cool. So on each box for all of their products, it tells you what it's made with and what it's made without. And the made with is always this big and the made without is always this big because for years they've been putting all sorts of things in our products that they knew were gonna have adverse effects on us, and adverse effects, not reflex. And they didn't wanna tell us. So if you're wondering, uh, their product line includes regular panty liners, long panty liners, cause you know you need both, petite pad, regular pad, large pad, overnight pad, and then, like I said, they have like an overnight XL. So this is how pleased I am with Rayel. Um, and I will just give you a close-up of the regular box because it also is just equally as interesting. And I'm so impressed with them. Again, face wash. Rubbed it on and immediately was like, ooh, ooh, I like this. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it on Rayel. Rayel does have subscriptions. I was originally subscribed on Amazon, um, not realizing that they have subscriptions on their own websites and subscriptions are my new thing, y'all. It's my new jam. Um, and with, you know, menstrual products, I don't care if I have more than I need, you know, cause it's, I, as someone who is slowly but surely approaching 30, y'all, I have wanted to be 30 for so long and it's finally here. I'm so close. I am so close. But you know, time wants to take its time when you really want something. So we just, we're living in the present moment. But as someone who is approaching 30, I'm going to be menstruating for a while, right? You know, as far as I, as far as, as far as can be expected, you know, without any special circumstances. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little extra. Um, I probably got... Because as y'all know, I wear my cup sometimes. And like I said, I've been experimenting with the disc. So I probably have maybe two or three boxes of these around here somewhere. Um, probably even more of the regular ones. Because the regular ones are, um, you know, what I wear the most. Oh, and it's worth noting. Um, if I don't have a panty liner or if it's one of those days where I'm wearing my cup and I'm like, mm, I'm not too sure. Um, especially with everything that's going on now, like when's the last time you've used the public restroom? Um, you know, or maybe not when's the last time, but how often are you actually using public restrooms these days? So, um, you know, I sometimes go ahead and put on the regular one instead of a panty liner, just in case I don't know how long I'm going to have my cup. And my flow, if you've been with me since the beginning, is not nearly as heavy as it has been. Like I shared on my last video, I've been trying a couple of different things. Um, I mean, I've actually just started a new regimen and um, it's too early for me to report on it, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. But, um, you know, my hormones are, they're, they're doing their thing. They're leveling out. Um, you know, we have some good months, we have some bad months. I will say though, when my hormones were imbalanced, I was not gramping. 
and for some reason now that they're more balanced my crimps are back like what is that i just the ghetto um anyway moving on to thank you rayo let me make sure she she has her moment moving on to le honey pot so um i tried honey pot for the first time in december of last year essence had their oh boy don't let me butcher it mm -hmm. i can't remember what it's called but i know it was for small businesses um and they came to atlanta and set up booths and it was probably the last time that no I'm, I, that was going to be a lie because i did go on a cruise before the pandemic but one of the last times that i was in a very large crowd and i felt comfortable um, so the Honey Pot Company, of course, is black owned, made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas. And that is their slogan. I did not make that up. Uh, I really like Honey Pot for a couple of reasons. Um, the founder and creator is likable. Uh, I love how the community has come together to, you know, stand behind her. I don't love how standing behind her meant that everything was sold out and I had to go from December until now, which is August, to actually be able to get these again. So um, I went to the Honey Pot stand in December. In December, y'all. This is my first one since December. And I bought um, the, what are these called? Penny liners, which were infused with mint, lavender, and aloe herbal infused panty liners amazing um and I, I got this i think i i tried out their lubricant and their wash and then they threw in some some other free stuff now what i will say about the the wash is um i ended up using it on my face <laughs> it's very gentle i really like it i don't usually use wash on my lady parts um my ph is pretty balanced i can i can see how it can be effective for someone whose pH isn't balanced. But it's kind of one of those things where it's like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And in my experience, and I'm speaking for myself, I'm not speaking for everybody else. I'm speaking for myself, okay? I don't want anybody to get offended. I'm not trying to hurt no feelings. I'm talking about Sierra, okay? Um, in my experience, whenever I do use any sort of feminine wash, however natural it is, I do end up having like issues. So um, I tried it out and you know, I was very careful to like make sure I was just washing my vulva and you know, like around my urethra, but shower water and stuff. So I'm sure it trickled down to my vagina. Um, and I got like, a, like, it was like a baby bladder infection. Nothing that bladder buddy can't fix though. Um, and so I immediately stopped using it. You know, I gave it a try but I immediately stopped using it. And I, in general, for me, for my body, I have to stay away from feminine washes. But, you know, my vagina and my face are equally as sensitive. I'm lying, my vagina is more sensitive than my face. But they're both places that need to be taken care of. So I did start using the wash on my face and it was, it was lovely. Um, so yeah, so plant-based feminine care. I like these because they are tingly i love i love mint i love tea tree oil um i love all those sorts of things like if if it's something that's gonna make my scalp tingle or that's gonna bring me some relief in my lady area you know right around my lady parts i love it i'm all here for it because as we know especially like in the summertime when um you know like chafing is is a big thing and it's just like sort of moist in that area um any sort of cooling relief is welcomed i know i gave one to my mom and she was like at first i put it on and i was like okay cool and then i was like whoa wait a minute what's happening and i think a lot of people have had a similar response um because it is it's it's it, it gives you that tingling uh, minty feeling but it's so nice i mean so nice i just i don't have anything else to say about about this it's just really nice um and so naturally when i found them back in stock i bought three of these and i subscribed so i'm gonna get more in four weeks so um yes comfortable confident clean again speaking of branding and packaging this is packaging that makes me want to like i, I want to pick it up it's peeling like it's just i need it 
I, I really do. Um, and their pads are infused as well. Again, haven't had the opportunity to try them because they've been out of stock everywhere. But um, I found out, uh, I have recently been made aware of a few places that have them in store. So I'm looking forward to trying out their pads as well. Um, but for now, I've got my Honey Pot Penny Liners and my Rayel products and I'm happy. Oh, I did order some Rayel Penny Liners to try them out. We'll let you guys know. Probably just in, in the description because I'm not trying them until my next cycle. So, moving on to the good stuff. These are soft disc, and I apologize that I do not have my flex disc because I did try flex disc as well, just so that I would be able to um, compare them. But I'll put a, I'll put a picture up there for you. So my soft disc, well, disc in general. So soft disc is, it has been around for a while. It was previously called soft cup, and before menstrual cups became such a big deal like this was referred to as a cup but obviously to avoid confusion the they changed the name to softest and as most of you well know i am a an avid flex user avid i've only to date had one issue with them and speaking of um yeah sure why not so the only issue i had is that you know of course flex as a company that's still on ongoing and it's up and coming it's growing every day um they have one of those customer service systems to where like each day you might be talking to someone different so if your issue isn't resolved in that day you have to re-explain your issue and it took me almost two weeks to just get my issue resolved and so that's like my only qualm was like why is this so difficult um and it's okay because it, it did get resolved. So it's not a complaint per se, it was just a minor frustration. Um, but to date, that's the only issue I've had with Flex. I enjoy Flex as a company and as a brand and their cup is still my favorite cup to date. With Scoom being a close second. Um, and speaking of customer service, Rayel has really good customer service. So when I was ordering from their website, I was able to add a subscription for each of my products except one. And I just sent an email saying like, hey, can you help me out with this? Responded back to me immediately and was like, yep, we've got you subscribed. Anything else? And I was like, why was this so easy? I am just, <sighs> okay. So back to the disc. So there are a couple of things that they're advertised as, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I disagree with some of them but overall ease of use yes easy to use a different system than getting a cup in or getting a tampon in sure but easy to use and there's one really weird thing that really impressed me so um just looking at the cup you know you usually get like 14 or so of them in a pack um if you're only wearing one or two a day and your cycles you know only a couple of days a month you probably won't go through an entire pack or if you're like me, um, I had, uh, I used two of my, I had a sample for Flex. I didn't buy a whole box. So I used two Flex discs between two cycles. And then I used two of these. So between two cycles, I used four, you know, cause I'm just, I'm using different products between my cup, between my pads. And, and sometimes, especially if I don't have anywhere to go, I prefer to just not put anything in my vagina. She don't like that. She don't like for anything to be just chilling in there if, if it ain't got to be chilling in there. So um, we'll start with the things that I, I really liked about it. I really liked that it, they were really easy to put in. So with the cup, there's like this steep learning curve and each cup is different and you have like these different techniques. So the first two or three cycles for me was like a learning experience. The very first time I put the flex cup in, it was boom easy peasy and it was in there and I was confident knowing it was in there um same thing with the soft cup uh soft disc sorry did I say flex cup I meant to say flex disc so same thing with the soft disc is you know I felt like it was really easy to pop in um you know pretty smooth for the most part forgot it was there I will say that I think and I'm not speaking like literally but based on how I felt the diameter um the rim of the flex cup was a little firmer than the rim of the see what I, I did it again the rim of the flex disc was a little bit firmer 
than the rim of the softest. So when, when I have my flex disc in, and the whole thing is you squeeze the center, get it in there, and then you use your thumb or your finger to push it the rest of the way. And once it's in, you can stop there, but they say that you wanna push it up and make sure it's behind the pelvic bone. Um, that's also pressing on my bladder. Personally, um, everybody's anatomy is a little different, um, including vaginas. Vaginas are not all the same. Um, so this may not be a shared experience, but for me, once I got it in there, it just kind of felt like it was pressing on my bladder. Sort of like when I was wearing the size two linen cup. Um, Cause they recommended that either if you've had a baby or if you have a heavy cycle, and I do have, um, my cycle is defined as, as, a heavy, as a heavy cycle, but the size two cup and the flex disc just seemed to be like pressing on my bladder. So it was like, I knew it was there. Um, it, was, it was hard to forget that it was there. Uh, and then of course, when you go to, to use the bathroom, like the stream of urine just comes out kind of slowly which they say is not causing any harm, but it's just uncomfortable for me. You know, I'd rather it not be pressing on my bladder. So that was one, one thing that I didn't like about the, um, the flex disc. But um, when I put the soft disc in, I was actually able to forget it was there. Um, it is a little softer. I guess that's why it's called a soft disc. And that's probably also why Schoon is my second favorite cup because Schoon is supposed to, Schoon is supposed to be a soft cup. So I just prefer the softer um, textures to the firm ones because I don't want them pressing on my bladder. And I really, I really do like to forget that it's there. So even though it's kind of like a little basketball hoop, right? You know, and it has this, this, um, this, this, this dippage, right? The dippage never actually happens. That was one thing that I found interesting because once you once you get it in there, and maybe that also depends on the shape of your vagina, but for, for my vagina, once you squeeze it and you get it in there and then you press it the rest of the way, it kind of sits like this and it's, you know, more so this type of thing, which this is, this is, this is a really cool part. And this I learned from Flex's website. Is like, oh, when you go to use the bathroom, if you, you know, exercise your muscles, then a little, then the cup will empty itself, at least partially, and then you can carry on about your day. So literally, like, I'm not a person that can wear my cup. Uh, I am talking about my cup this time. I'm not a person that can wear my cup uh, 12 hours a day. Not me, right? But in order to empty my cup, I have to actually take it out and dump it, rinse it, wash it, pop it back in. If this bad boy empties itself just when I go to the bathroom. So every time I went to the bathroom, it was just like meow, meow. And I thought that was so cool because I can actually leave it in for 12 hours, you know? And um, right, right around that 11-ish hour point, it was, my body was like, all right, get this out of me. Um, but I actually can leave it in for, um, for 12 hours. So that part was really cool. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the the cup. Ooh, oh my goodness, how could I forget? The lie they told us, mess-free uh, removal. That's a lie, y'all lied. <laughs> that is not true. Um, first of all, the way that like, okay, so let's say this this is the pubic bone, you know, so we got the cup in here, this is the pubic, it's sitting right here. So I have to get my finger or my thumb in here to pull it down from behind my, um, my pubic bone and that already is tilting the cup this way and again it's not like it's sitting down here at the bottom because <clears throat> something like that, that didn't happen it's not like it's like fully expanded and sitting at the bottom like it would for a cup the material never actually fully fleshes out so it's just like once you tip boom boom bam right um now they did say oh are you having trouble <laughs> Are you having trouble with the mess free removal? Removing it in the shower helps. I do prefer to insert and remove in the shower. If I can help it, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but you know, for the sake of this video, I did wanna try it out and see how the, and, and sang, soft disc, flex disc, both of them, not mess free. And they, they kind of say like, oh, save this. And when you take it out, you can, you know, pop it back in this, this, this here, right? And you saw how I was popping it back in and it kind of got caught right there. Now imagine 
it having blood on it. So that didn't work for me either. Like if I was out in public and I was really careful, um, then yeah, sure. I could probably like, you know, squeeze a little bit, like really focus on not getting it on the edges. Um, but when I tried it at home, it was just, it was, it was a mess. It was everywhere. Um, and I got to a point where like, I literally went to the sink and rinsed it out. Even though I know I knew I was going to throw it away, but something, I, I didn't want it to sit in my trash can like that. I wanted to rinse it out. So, um, you know, that could just be me being weird, but that's pretty much everything on, uh, products today. The one last thing that I will share is that, um, and this is not based on research just yet. So I'm not saying this to tell you anything. I am not an expert. I am somebody that tries out these products and finds joy in sharing my experience with you all. Um, but the last thing that I will say is that I have been wearing my cup less just because I do know a couple of women who are saying that they feel like the cup is sort of uh, changing um, their shape, you know? And so with the disc, they are you you can leave them in just as long but the main difference for me is that it's not as eco-friendly um but with the cup you know there have been some people to say oh well you know my husband noticed that my vagina feels different and that like the shape is changing and so i'm kind of anticipating more of that conversation coming soon so just as a preventative measure i've gotten to i've gotten to a point after my anger because i was like wow we really can't win um, but I have gotten to a point where I'm just like, you know what? I'll wear my cup when it's necessary. Because as you all know, I'm a person that genuinely doesn't mind pads. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, and tampons never worked for me. So I still haven't tried any natural tampons because they never worked for me in the first place. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much my whole year update. And of course, as with every video, I am doing a giveaway. So. I will be giving away uh, some disc, either soft disc or flex disc, and a disposable product from Rayo. In order to be considered for this giveaway, all you need to do is be sure that you are following me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So on Instagram, I am at Seymour Say Less. My YouTube channel is under my name, Sierra Hodges. And if you're watching this video, you're already, you're already linked to my YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. And I, what I want to know from you this time, you can drop it in the comments under this blog, or you can drop it in the comments under the YouTube video. Choice is yours. What I really want to know this time is what is something on your journey as a person who's menstruating, as a person who is navigating life, you know, with a, with a, um, a menstruating uterus, what is something along your journey that has changed, either brought you some sort of joy or was just not what you expected and you're finding a way to accept it? So I'll give you an example. For me, it was that Right around 28 or so, somebody just casually was like, oh yeah, yeah, well you know your cycle changes like about every decade or so. Excuse me? What now? Like yeah, you know, your, your, your cycle goes through phases and you know, it, it's just, it's gonna change. Why am I a person who at the time had been menstruating for 20 years? Because as you know, I started my cycle when I was nine. So by 28, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. You mean to tell me it's going to keep mm. So something that along my journey surprised me, changed, shifted, wasn't quite what I expected. And I'm constantly finding ways to accept that and beyond that to learn to embrace it. So what I want to know is tell me a little bit about your journey. What's something that you're learning to accept or embrace? Um, perhaps something that's bringing you some joy. Or, or that you've been able to find joy in. Plus following me on Instagram and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Guys, can you believe this is, this is the fourth year I'm doing this? It's amazing. I am beyond excited to continue this conversation and to just kind of normalize talking about something that we go through every single month. Um, and 
I'm glad you're here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for making it to this point in the video. And I bid you adieu. No, I'm kidding. Have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world. Go be great. Be well. Find some joy. And love you guys. All right. Bye.